Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. This is the 50th episode, can you believe it? We were just back in Ordon with pumpkins and cats and slingshots and all that nice stuff, but now we have serious shit to deal with. I mean, look at that. But let's kick off episode 50 by doing something not boring like episode 49. Episode 49 was boring side quests, was things I really don't like to do in this game, and it, quite frankly, I had to take a break from this game for quite a while after doing that but what we have here is the final hidden skill of the game which is exciting because it's actually one of the best hidden skills naturally because the last one uh but there is a condition to using it which is strange because it's not like the others <laughs> what happens if we say i do not i do not i don't know we're not we'll never find out the world may never know who would say no i would just say no <laughs> would you like to be bestowed with ultimate power <laughs> meh yeah, we have to perform the jump strike once again Really, really easy. All you do is hold down A, and that's it. But this is the last we're going to see of this guy, so you better take his last skill and use it well, because it's the great spin. This is actually an upgrade to our spin attack, which the spin attack is already awesome anyway. So just imagine how awesome the great spin is going to be. Yes, I have the power to magnify it, but as you will explain, it does have a condition. You can only do this when your life energy is full. So if you perform a spin attack when your life energy is full, you will actually do great spin instead, which, as you'll see right here, you actually you might not be able to get a good punch here. Let's see. Look at that. Nice. I don't know if you could really tell by that, but that had a much bigger range, and that does a ton more damage than the normal spin attack. So it is definitely worth it to conserve your health so that you have full life to be able to do that, because that will clear out almost any enemy with maybe one strike or at least do a ton of damage to him and that's it so he's going to talk about although i've accomplished so much in my time as a hero as the hero of time oddly enough he's going to be like surely you're the successor and you can restore hyrule because you're the man that's right i am the man i'm the chosen one by the gods remember that line repeated over and over go and do not falter my child you have much to learn young padawan okay i get it i get it Although I don't have much to learn anymore, I guess. I'm done learning. So yeah, Hyrule still has this yellow thing, so we can't really do much about that. But we can actually progress the plot. I know, what a foreign concept as far <laughs> with the way the last few videos have gone. This is such a foreign concept to actually do productive things. But we're going to do it. You see all those red dots all over the map? You can't miss them. The red dots actually symbolize owl statues because as Shad explained, we actually have to fill the sky book uh, which is empty. So if we fill the sky book and hopefully oh what the no screw that And hopefully this will help us do it uh, We'll actually be able to access the hidden secret thing in Renato's basement <laughs> So as reluctant as I am to find out what exactly that is Let's continue on regardless. Do I have an empty bottle? No, so that's fine uh, But we do have lantern thing. Interesting. Surprised I didn't like that already. What happens if I like these things? Now, I'm, See, now I'm curious. Now I'm getting sidetracked. Is this something I just totally missed? Just light those two light posts? No. It can't be something I totally missed. That's way too obvious. It doesn't even matter. There might be more any, somewhere else, but what does matter is this giant rock. This giant rock is painfully obvious that it's not supposed to be there, so let's get rid of it. And it clearly leads to one of those red dots. So, let's go for the red dots. And there's a bunch of rupees. I got a yellow rupee, and guess what it's going to say when I get the blue one? I got a blue rupee! Yay! Okay. Enough about that. We're blazing new trails here. So, this is pretty cool. Uh, one thing to note about these owl statues is that, although all you really have to do is um, move them out of the way and stand where they once were, there is actually a hidden treasure that is accessible with each one of them. I believe three of them are heart pieces and three of them are uh, orange rupees. So they're definitely worth getting and I'm going to get all of them hopefully in one take. But all you have to do with all the owl statues is move them out of the way. Then you can go on this mysterious green thing. You can just somehow pick up a letter from the ground and put it in the book. That's what you do. So that's that one taken care of. Uh, but what I can do... Oh, the statue somehow moved back over there. I don't want you over there. I want you in this hole. That's where you're supposed to be. All right, so note to self. Get treasure, then get letter. 
because apparently the statue somehow magically resets. Anyway, if we put it in that hole, I believe we can transform into a wolf and do something we haven't done in a very long time. It's this wolf jumping mechanic. We haven't seen this in forever. But it is not dead. We still keep going. All right, so after all that, we come up here, and I believe it's going to take us to this area where there was that all that purple fog, but all there is up here is a chest, and I believe since I'm turning back into human link, it's got to be a piece of art. It is. It is a piece of art. Lovely. Not bad. It's definitely worth it. I think there's also, like, Poe Souls over there at night, because it, it is nighttime. There's probably some in Ordon Village, too, but I really don't care about Poe Souls. All right, next... We're gonna do this one in Kakariko Gorge. You can do these in any order, so don't feel compelled to do them this way or another way or however you want. But uh, I just kind of like circling around the map and then doing the Gerudo Valley one. Cause that's just, that's just annoyingly out of the way. What the hell? All right. Let's go up here. Let's just ignore every enemy in, in the way. And you will find, you can actually, of course, explore this area before, but do nothing. Hey, there's a red chew. I can actually get red chew jelly if I want it, but not really reason to. <clears throat> All right, transform into human. You could find this, of course, way earlier than this, uh, but you wouldn't be able to do anything with it until now. Uh, what I'm going to do to get this is actually move the statue here first off, because I believe that's where we need it to be so we can jump across that gap. Let's see if I actually put it in the right spot. Jump and oh, look at that. First try. Actually, that wasn't that hard. I shouldn't gloat too much about that. Oh, crap. <laughs> I knew it was too easy. I knew it was way too easy. All right, all right, all right. Watch this. We got to control that thing again. Am I going to make this jump? Oh, I am. Okay, good. I was wondering if I was going to jump while still holding that thing, but I guess I am. All right. So what we gotta do is move it there, and now we can use it again as a platform and not fall. Thank God. Okay, and that'll lead us around to this chest. And what is inside this chest, you might ask? Why, it's an orange rupee. How oh, very nice, 100 rupees. And I can actually hold a ton more rupees now. I can hold up to 1,000, so that's pretty awesome. And I'll grab my second sky letter while I'm at it. Pretty good, making pretty good time so far. First one took a while, but this one's not so bad. That was an easy one. One sky character. There's still other missing characters. Well, no shit. All right, four. Oh, this one's gonna take a while. I know this one's gonna take a while. Cause it's the Bridge of Elden one, and of course, to get the treasure on the Bridge of Elden, you have to move the statue from one side of the bridge all the way to the other side. Why make it easy on the player? That that would just be foolish to make it easy. We just gotta make this as tedious as possible. But but it is pretty cool. I do like these things in that. You can tell that these were built into the design of the Bridge of Elden, and they're things that if you, it's, it's probably sounding really vague, but <laughs> things that if you didn't bother to explore them, you would have never realized like, oh, hey, those pillars were put there for, you know, I hate this. those pillars were put there for a reason. Those pillars are there so that, you know, you can climb on them to get this hidden treasure later on. So I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if that makes any sense to me, but. So what we gotta do is this thing has to go all the way across the bridge. Look at this epic bridge shot. The statue and I, together, brothers in arms. Here we go, rushing into battle. <clears throat> it would be pretty cool if there were enemies down there. That, well, there are enemies, enemies we could see down there. That would be a really epic shot. But this is a pretty cool camera angle nonetheless. That's pretty awesome. If you could think for a, of a caption for this. this, that's an interesting comment thing. Think of a caption for this, because that's an epic camera shot of Link and the statue going all the way across the bridge. Think of something for that, because I'm be interested to see what you guys come up with. Oh, almost there. Oh, oh there's a thing. There's a thing They're shooting at me. Oh, there's enemies. All right, I don't remember where exactly. It's oh, it goes down there. I hate this stupid archer. He's just no, 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 no. Don't why. Why would why would Epona be necessary or 41 be necessary right now? It's not. It's just gonna get in the way. Go away. Alright, those enemies can't even enter the bridge. So those are insignificant. I hear golden bugs, which are also insignificant at this point. Uh, I believe the statue has to go down there. It does. Okay, so let's move. I don't I just wanted to make sure before I did something stupid and had to redo this whole thing again. Alright, you know what else is pissing me off? That that was annoying. 
uh, Dominion Rod and push this down here. Cool. Now it creates like a little bridge so I can jump across, I think. Or I can just fall. Oh, I gotta push it down a little further. No! No! Bad, bad, bad. Ah, oh, crap. Well, that was obnoxiously irritating. Hey, I don't have time for you right now. Stupid bastard. Go away. Don't have time to deal with this. That was obnoxiously irritating. Look, it took till sunset to get this thing back over here. But, it's done. So that's our. Whatever the case may be, I can now climb up this ladder that I could see before, but it was just taunt me before. It would serve no purpose until I could get that statue over here to actually be able to climb up the ladder and, oh, get shot at, apparently, by, got, by archers. Why even bother with those things at this point? They're, they're not even worth it. Inside this chest should be, it better be a piece of heart for all that hard work, because that was just a pain. That was just annoying. It was drawn out. I don't like it. But whatever. It's done. And I have full health again, so I could use the great spin. That's pretty cool. And actually, it's a good thing I called my horse over here, because now I can just ride my horse to the other side of the bridge instead of walking. That would save a lot of time. Well, I think this guy might have respawned over here. Alright, whatever. Not a big deal. Dismount. And up here. And let's get that sky letter book thing from the ground from the glowing green circle let us pick up a sky letter sky character sky character it may not be a letter it could be a number or a symbol or something else but it doesn't matter all right finally done with the bridge of elden one Jeez. all right let's go to over here because this seems to be like the most used warp point in the game i really don't know why there's not another warp point especially in northern hyrule field i think there really should have been a warp point there and there isn't not that it matters at this point, not that my complaints are going to prompt Nintendo to patch the game, but just saying. Like this whole upper area, no war point. That's another thing. Anyway, enough about my... <laughs> wah, 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 my needs. I know, my needs. Alright, uh, we have another statue thing to do, but first we have some enemies to take care of. Let's just wipe them out. Yeah, I tried to get both of them in one, but this one was being difficult. Not to worry, he's dead all the same. Drop some hearts. Good. I can get back up to full health again. Alrighty, alright. Let's see what we have to do to get this one. It looks like we actually have to make use of the statue here to get up to that pedestal. So what I'm going to do is actually... I'll do that second because what I want to do is get the treasure first. Uh, if I can... Oh, i got to weave the statue through this debris. That's, that is irritating. Oh, we get sunset though. That's pretty cool. Sunset in the, probably the most epic spot in the game. So that's pretty cool. It's a stone little area over here, which really doesn't serve much of a purpose other than a postal. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Other than a postal and uh, some, you know, this owl statue. This is kind of just a useless area, but it's cool at night. Pretty cool looking. Uh, all right. The statue's there. I should be able to not make that jump at all. I should probably push it a little closer. Maybe not that close. That might be too close. Right, let's try that. Trial and error. This is what we do in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Okay. Jump. Yes. And jump. Excellent. I believe this one's just an orange rupee. It is. See, my memory still serves me not that bad. And, yeah, okay. I was, I was thinking we forgot a statue, but we did. Because it's the one on the other bridge. Not the Bridge of Elden, the other one. That isn't as significant for some reason. I think it's like the Great Bridge of Lake Hylia or something. Whatever it's called. Anyway, we have to pretty much mimic what we just did over here to get this little uh, green circle glowy light thing. So let's do just that. Let's jump, and one more time, and there we go. Green circle light. Circle of light. Give me something. It gave me something. It gave me a sky character. Still two left. So we're going to get those two. We're going to break through that fleet. And let's see, what would be faster? I think the horse call would probably be faster. So let's use that. Then warping. Warping always takes a while for some reason. Let's use the horse call. Kind of defeats the purpose of warping if the animation takes forever. But the horse is also more fun to use. Good old 41. 41 sat out so much of the adventure too. It's weird in this game because you really don't use the horse for 
like the middle third of the game. So it's kind of strange, but whatever. 41's back in action and better than ever somehow. But maybe it's just because I'm better than ever now that I have the great spin and all my equipment and I'm ready to go, kick some ass. I can do some even, even more ass kicking on the back of 41. Let's drive by, drive by. <laughs> Drive-by shooting. This is the equivalent in the Legend of Zelda of a drive-by shooting. Is shooting something with a with a bow and arrow while you're riding on your horse. Uh, so let's just ride right by those, I should say. And just oh, this is gonna be annoying that we have to deal with those wolf things now. But whatever. All right, this one is pretty easy. Let's see if I can do it right though. Pretty much just have to move that. Uh, I think actually I think this one's easier if we get the the uh, letter first because I think the statue resets and it's really not that much of a hassle to put it in the right spot. All we have to do is put it under these vines so we can drop down and then jump over. That's probably the fastest one. It's the easiest one. And in my opinion, because it's so quick, it's the best one. So there we go. We found a sky character. Another sky character. You got a sky character. And yeah, now I can actually just use this. And to get the chest to get the chest we just have to put it probably over a little bit more not that far probably about there should do nicely jump to it and then we can use it as a platform to jump over here and chest get i believe this is yet another orange rupee and it is Look, i haven't played this game in years uh like the last time i played this far into the game and i'm already i'm remembering these things how do i do that it's so weird. Imagine if my memory was actually devoted to, like, productive things. The world would be such a better place. I could solve world peace by myself, probably. But no, it's all crammed with useless video game information. If you think, think about this. Seriously, think about this. How much of your brain, how much of your memory has a video game information in it? Surprisingly, a ton. If you think about it, like when you play an old game, like uh, for me, Donkey Kong Country, right? Go back to play Donkey Kong Country 2, for example. How many times do you go, oh yeah, I remember this part. I remember this level. All that information is just taking up space in your mind that could be devoted to productive things. Anyway, I wouldn't trade it for anything else. Uh, let's transform into a human. And let's use this statue. This is a little strange now because it's in the darkness and literally pitch black. Uh, let's see, what am I gonna do with this guy? I think I should put him right there. I think that seems like a good spot. But now, how am I gonna get up there? That is the question. That's the question. I wish it wasn't so dark so I could actually see what I'm doing, but I can't. Uh, oh, I can climb right up over here. Durr. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Huh, how am I gonna get up over there? <laughs> I'm starting to analyze this more and more. Okay, no, I can use I can use the statue. All right, the statue needs to go this way. This is what happens when you when you play a game. So this is really blind. It's not blind at all because I've played it before. But when you play a game, usually I, or not, I shouldn't say usually. Sometimes if I go through a different or a difficult segment of a game, uh, I'll like do a practice run before I actually do the. Look at that! Look at that! That's just stupid. Before I do the recorded run, sometimes I, I shouldn't say usually. It's actually very rarely. But uh, this is what happens when we don't practice. We spend a lot of time doing really easy things. But this will be the final Skybook character, as you can tell by the different camera angle. And now we'll get the da 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 da. Says so to be and show it to people. So I pretty much just have to bring this back to Shad now that it's full. And we're going to close out this video by getting the final thing here to get. Although this is arguably the most annoying one, because I remember you have to stay on this pedestal while you move, while you move the statue, which is irritating and very annoying. Ugh. Unfortunately, you can't move uh, move the statue off of or onto the sand area because there is that little in oh geez. oh this one's a pain this one's the biggest pain to get yeah unfortunately you can't move the statue onto the sand area because there's that little ridge type of thing there is that little bump so the statue cannot get over that little insignificant bump so we have to now move the statue while staying on this ledge, which is irritating. Although, you know what I could do? Is actually start and not, not run off. Not run off the edge would be good. 
I'm actually start down there and just walk this way, which I think is this what it was intended to do. And then start this way and walk to the left. Let's see if that'll work. Is it gonna get in that little crevice? It is, look at that. So that was even designed to work. That's pretty cool. Not as frustrating that way, but still plenty frustrating. All right, so now we're up here. So now let's not blow it. Let's stand on this side. This is cool how it was designed that way though. I have a little more respect for this part, despite it being annoying. All right, let's go all the way to the end here. Nice and slow. Take it nice and easy. You know what happens when we rush? When we rush, bad things happen. All right, nice and slow, nice and slow. Statue, you are now under my command. Go over there. Stay there. Okay. Let's see if I can make this jump. Not mess it up. If I mess it up, I'm gonna be pissed. It's pretty easy. All right, there we go. Good, done. This should be the piece of heart. That's it. No, it's not, it's an orange rupee, so I guess you can only get two pieces of heart. My memory did fail me after all. But whatever, that's the end of this video. Oh, screw you. Screw. God, so, so, moral of the story, I did all that for something I can't put in my wallet. So let's just put it back. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Let's just, we'll just put it back. Screw you. God damn it. Damn it. That's what I say to that. Damn it. Oh well. This is Shadow Mario 41. This is the Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Next time, we're gonna maul this chest. Next time, uh, we're gonna do something actually productive. We're gonna give the book to Shad, we're gonna figure out the secret, and probably get to the next dungeon. So it should be pretty exciting. So, I'll see you guys then. Ciao.